Hello everyone, this is Steve. I'd like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Um, wanted to show you some of the latest stuff I've been doing on this. I've been working on this thing relentlessly. And um, studying raster interrupts a lot lately. Um, I don't know if you can tell already, but I've got something going on here. I, you can't tell right now, but I've actually got two character sets going on this one. I've got a default and a live one. So this is obviously my regular character set here. You see in the background and at the bottom here I have a character set set to default so I can actually enable the text mode since character pad itself is kind of wiping out my text characters anyways that's my first stab into interrupt routine so I'm pretty happy now I can start you know putting out messages um, and I also added an interrupt and tried to slow down the screen scrolling it doesn't work very well when you go to the right still but when I go to the left it's pretty smooth I'll show you that here in a second how it's very very smooth there might be a few jerkiness and it's a little bit of jerkiness but it's a little bit more smoother going this way than it's going the other way and something else I'll show you here in just a second it's not complete yet I mean it's still got a long way to go and I tell you this thing has been really kicking my tail just trying to figure this whole thing out you know it's not easy um, I'll show you what I actually did is I found this uh, routine online and I started using it and figuring out how to um, create um, what are basically raster bars on the screen and use it to initialize a character set in the background so if you pay attention to the screen here you'll see there's a raster bar at the bottom the color bar at the bottom of the screen here running by the scan lines at the top here you probably can't tell right now but this is a, a redefined character set in the center we got the default screen so this is kind of what I did is I kind of moved that bar down to the bottom until I got spaced out you know shown at the bottom there so I'm pretty happy, so now I can start, you know, putting game messages and stuff like that and really moving this project forward, hopefully. Um, another thing, um, I accomplished this over probably a little close to a month ago, is vertical scrolling. I don't have vertical scrolling going up yet. It's a little bit more complex than it should be, I guess. But anyways, I'll show you what I do have going on it since I still have it running here. Now, it'll mess the screen up. Since, keep in mind, when I'm scrolling here, what I'm essentially doing is I'm scrolling directly, let me just get to that line here, I'm scrolling directly with specific set lines in memory. So right here, it's reading into GMAP, and what it's always doing, I mean, these, these findings are fine, you always want to make it stay on the screen, so that's what these are all about. But this X right here, this is always reading the GMAP at this central location each time. So every time I move up or down and I scroll, it's not going to look like he's moved to another location. So I need to fix that later. And I'm thinking about, you know, putting everything into um, zero page indexing where I can actually control it a little bit more forthright. That's going to be a little bit more work. I still have to figure out basically how to take um, a zero index and create it all the way down the screen here and then make it read, 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 read and so on. I've done it before, I just have to kind of look up the code and I've been kind of busy. And I'll be busy this week too, I'm going out of town for the weekend, so there'll probably be no Google Hangouts this weekend, actually there won't be, so. Anyways, I wanted to show you, I'll show you the vertical scrolling now. So if I scroll the screen down, and you might not see it here, so I might need to, edit just like it might have just crashed, let me see here. Oh yeah, I turned off the joystick, I need to. <laughs> I was doing a lot of tests here, so I had to turn off the joystick on and off and so on. So let me go back to the main code here and turn the joystick back on up here somewhere above the right routine oh and also here's the the raster interrupt I, what it is i stuck it inside the joystick routine just to kind of explain this for a second not to get off on a tangent but the raster routine runs directly inside the joystick routine i noticed when i put it outside the routine it slows down since the timing is off so I figured the best way, after thinking about it a little bit, was to put it inside the exact routine where I'm scrolling at. And it seemed to work great after that. So, Anyways, let's turn on the up movement here. Um, actually, wait, I skip it here? Let me just figure out where it went to here. Actually, it should be right here. Okay, so it's right down here below. Okay, so right here, so move down. All I need to do is turn this one back on. I can turn to move up even though the up is not working right now. I'll turn them both on there. Let me run it. And you don't know it also, but I've also speeded it up a little bit. 
earlier when I put the raster bar in, it was really slowing everything down, so I, I centralized everything and set the raster off the screen here so that it was only reading in this central area, and it allowed me a little bit more speed in the game. And also, I need to turn on the, the multi background. I noticed I turned that off too. But anyways, as I scroll down, finally, you'll see the vertical scrolling intact. Yeah, it's going to look a little sloppy here, but you can see the scrolling. These are some of the screens that I had planted. I'm going to go back and change this. This B here was me just trying to redefine the character set to all set letters and everything. And let me pull that up here. You probably saw my character pad demo I had on there. Um, where is it? Me and me can never remember where anything is. I thought I had this down here. I need to put it as um, a direct link down here somewhere. I think it's right here. No, it's not. Okay, so let me just look for this real quick. Make sure it's here somewhere. Right there. Set this in a direct link at the bottom. Taskbar. And open this just to show you what I'm doing here. <coughs> Let's see if I can locate the correct map. I think it's, I think it's this one. Maybe not. Nah, it's not. So I know I had um, renamed it something else. I have to go down here and set this to none or any file, and then just sort these by date. And I should have it here at the top somewhere. So 21, yeah, it's up here somewhere. Right here, I think this is it. That's good enough. Um, so if you look down here, you'll see I added all these new scrolling routines. I might have showed you these before, but these are all my vertical screens. And down here, some more. I'm, I guess I might demonstrate that before, but you can kind of see that's what's going on over here. Actually, if I can get to the screen, you might be able to see it right here. Let me see, where's that one at right here? Somewhere around here, let me just see. Right there. So if I go up there, probably put it about right there. Move this over there. Oh, maybe that's not the right one. Maybe it's up here. Oh, can't figure out where the map is. It's around here somewhere. You know, I had created several of these in the game. Giant ladders are. Anyways, I mean, we can spend time looking for it. But you can see that the scrolling is actually working now and everything. It's in here somewhere. I kind of created a kind of a bigger map now, so it's kind of like everything's kind of all spread out and everything. Maybe it's up here. Oh well. But anyways, as I scroll this down more, you'll see. And eventually it'll run into memory because I'll run off the screen here somewhere toward the bottom. Yeah, I think that might be it right there. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to kind of repeat the top part of the screen. So I need to make it eventually check once it's scrolled so far to not scroll much further. So not to scroll beyond 75 basically. Now when I try to go up, that's another story. It just, it just does that now. It's not really, it's redrawing the lines here at the top like I want, but it's not getting the rest of the data. So I just need to spend a little bit, I didn't spend a lot of time on it, but I just need to spend a little bit more time later on figuring out how that works. And if you want to see the code, I'll show it to you. I know you guys are all about the code. I need to clean up some of this. I originally had these interrupts trying to run inside of here, so I'll just delete a bunch of this stuff later that we don't need. And actually, this will probably fix the the, the flat the jerkiness going down. I don't need to check for raster since I'm already checking the, inside the main raster routine. And down here, this is where I implement the scrolling again. 253, 254 represents the map. It's actually GMAP4. And then this is just getting the um, the screen location so it knows where to draw it. This reads over 39 characters so we stay on the screen. We only scroll over 39 each time. And this is adding with, um, this is a kind of a trick I do here. So it's adding with 255 to get how far across the screen it's got to go since it's got to go over 255 to, reach, to read the whole map as I scroll over. And 
what it does here is adds the zero, so it flips the 253 back to, to basically hit the high pointer and move it, or hit the low pointer, so it, it moves back into the high byte area. So for those who understand what that means anyway. So let me go back and rerun this one more time just to see if that's fixed um, the scrolling in that direction. You know, kind of, and then I guess we'll just call it a night there. I was going to really wait until I got the up scrolling working, but I figured, what the heck, I'm almost there anyway. Hmm. More of an accomplishment than I've ever felt in my entire life. So as I scroll down here, you'll see this one should look normal here. So if I go over here and I move this all the way back here, <coughs> you'll see the ladders peering down here. Now this might be a different map. This might be why it doesn't look right. I noticed the bees are not showing up here. So this is actually a different map that I have in here. The one that I have my redefined character set that you can kind of see it right there. And as you just scroll down here, you'll see where the screens probably started at. Yeah, there seem to be some problems with these screens too. I'll probably need to fix some of that. Oh, there's my multicolor. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, please like and subscribe to this channel. And yeah, we're going to really be moving this game forward now. Now I can put in-game messages down here and put a score counter and start moving this thing forward finally. Okay, thanks for watching, guys.